Hello everyone, my name is Cap and welcome back to CapTech. Recently, Malware Bytes released version 3.0 of their flagship software sharing the same name and probably the most popular malware scanner available today. With the new version, they also released the ability for it to have some new features with it, including anti-exploit, anti-ransomware, malicious website protection, and anti-malware, anti-spyware detection. And today I'm going to do a quick review tutorial over the newest version of this software. And real quick, this is not a paid review or promotion. They have no idea that I'm actually making this video. I'm making it because this is software that I have used for many, many years professionally on many different clients' computers, including my own. Highly recommend it and want to make sure that everybody knows about it. The installation of the program is very basic and simple. It goes through the same normal steps that any kind of installer does, where you just accept the EULA, you choose where you want it to install, you select whether or not you want to give it a startup menu option or a desktop icon option, and it does the installation for you. There's no opt out or add in software that you have to try and choose or unchoose, so it's very quick and clean. And immediately upon installation, it activates all of the paid premium versions of the software for a 14 free day trial here. After 14 days, it goes back to just being an on-demand scanner, meaning that you can load it up and you can scan for spyware, malware, rootkits, and that sort of thing. But after 14 days, the malicious website protection, anti-ransomware, anti-exploit, and the real-time scanner protection where it runs in your system trial all the time goes off and you have to pay for the premium license in order to be able to use that. And should you choose to upgrade to the premium license, a one-year license is $39.99, or you can do a two-year license and save a little bit of money for $59.99. Again, I'm not affiliated with them. This is just their base pricing that you can get, and I'll put a link to the actual website on where to get it should you want to go through and purchase it and download it. If you've ever used the software before or ever even seen it before, you'll notice one of the biggest changes is a update to the user interface. They completely overhauled the way it looks. It's now a lot more responsive. It's a little bit cleaner looking and a little bit easier to find some of the previous settings and features and options you can turn on and off. I think the new layout looks a whole lot better than the previous version actually did my personal opinion it seems to be a whole lot more responsive to the clicks and a lot more intuitive in trying to figure out what you're trying to get it to do the new anti-exploit feature within the software i think is very valuable to anybody who might use a lot of programs that have a tendency to become exploited such as the adobe products or java or certain kinds of browsers where specific tags are always coming out trying to target those specific kinds of software this Malware Bytes version 3.0 actually offers a lot of protection against those. It goes through and puts a shield around specific programs, which you can go in and actually customize and tell it how in-depth you want to protect those specific programs about certain kinds of behaviors based on your independent usage needs. The new ransomware feature actually goes through and monitors all the files on your system and prevents software from randomly encrypting any of those, which is what ransomware does. It goes in and creates a massive encryption on a lot of your personal files and system files, and then tries to exploit you to try and pay a ransom to get them to give you a key to unlock it. Malwarebytes keeps a monitoring system over all of your files to make sure nothing's trying to run the encryption over those specific files. The website protection is exactly what it sounds like. It uses a known database of malicious websites or faulty websites. And if you try and go to those, it'll block the connection to them to prevent you from getting any kind of downloads. And of course, the actual scanners for the malware and spyware and rootkits, as is always, always has been within the program. The real-time protection will keep it from being able to get installed and run from startup. And if you just use the free version of it so you have an on-demand scanner, it uses definitions from their known database that you download as updates and to run scans on your computer to try and find any malicious files or software running and will remove it just like a normal scanner would. Now, one of the negatives I have about software is that Malwarebytes likes to try and promote their software as the end-all, be-all, all you need to protect your system and kind of tells you, oh, you don't have to worry about having those old clunky antiviruses anymore. You should just use our software. The problem with that is, is that Malwarebytes has never allowed their software to be included in any of the mass testing going on from the AV test, AV comparatives, or VB100s, which are kind of the industry standards for testing how well security software works against known threats and un known threats because 
And a good antivirus and a good anti-malware will use heuristics along with definition-based cloud protection to detect whether or not a file is good or not to make sure your system's ready to go and protected. But Malwarebytes, having never participated, kind of makes it wonder like, why won't you let them test your software? In the past, and in my personal opinion and professional opinion, some of the antiviruses that have always refused to let these companies do testing, independent testing for their software, usually ends up having problems, they have lower detection rates, and they don't provide as much security as they like to boast on their company websites. So to me, by more about saying, no, we're not going to allow you to include our testing in there for whatever the reason is, because I don't know. To me, that just kind of makes it sound like, oh, we're not as confident as we think we could be with this, and so we should probably just not include it. So for me, Malwarebytes is always going to be a standalone addition to a strong antivirus like ESET or Kaspersky or Panda or whatever like that. It's going to be a good additional scanner to have on your system, and I do recommend having it installed. But as far as having it as the primary source of protection on your computer from all threats nationwide and globally, I don't know for sure if it can stand on its own merits or not. So that pretty much wraps up my review for the software, and if you have any questions or comments, do put it in the comment section down below, and I'll answer it as quick as I can. If you enjoyed the video, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button down there, because I do appreciate that. And don't forget to subscribe for future videos. Thank you guys so much for your time, have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you later.